The Angel Eye Camera is a web-based uh, system where there's a camera placed over the baby's either bassinet or isolette and it allows the family to be able to view their baby 24-7. It's a really easy system for parents to use. They can log on to their PC at home if they have a, a tablet of some sort or a laptop or even their uh, mobile devices, their phones. They, there is an app that they can download or log in right to the website and get on and view their baby even at 2 o'clock in the morning. We were chosen by the Get Her Done Foundation as a beneficiary of their funds for this Angel Eye Camera. This is going to be a great benefit to the families that we have here in the NICU because we do have parents that do have to go back to work because sometimes their babies are here for 75 to 100 days and they get a little bit of that anxiety about having to leave their baby, but this allows them, even if they're at their desk at work, to log in and see their baby. It allows them to go home at night and sleep in their own bed if they happen to be here in town. But if they're, say, from way out in western Nebraska, they can also log on at any point and still see their baby and feel very connected. We had a great pregnancy, it was, we were healthy, talking with the OB and the specialists, everything was fine um, size-wise, her brain was developing, um, heart, kidneys, everything looked on track, not until December 19th. I woke up not feeling so great. I took her to the emergency room. When I got there, I found out that we'd been diagnosed with preeclampsia, help syndrome, uh, basically that means that the baby's placenta was attacking mom's liver. At that point we knew that we were going to be giving birth to a premature little girl. Honestly when I first saw her I was overwhelmed with joy but I was also terrified. She was born 24 weeks, 6 days, uh, basically 15 weeks early. Uh, she was 1 pound, 1.6 ounces, 10 inches long. We battled with lung infections and stooling issues. She turns blue. That's probably the hardest thing a parent ever has to go through, is to see their kid do that. And that's something that we've actually watched several times. She's come a long way in the three months that we've been here at the NICU. She's three pounds, seven ounces, and she's getting chunky. Um, they're weaning her slowly off of her um, oxygen support. Just packing on them pounds, adding the chin every, every, every uh, pound. for every pound she gains. <laughs> We've been having all kinds of fun with the, the Angel Eyes program. I just went back to work. Kay sent me the link when I was on my lunch break and that's the first thing I, you know, as soon as I got the link I logged onto my phone and I was able to check her out and that just made, it made it so much easier. Now that I can take a break and pop onto my phone and, you know, see my little love bug in there squirming around, uh, uh, that's a pretty special deal. I've loved it so far because I can go home um, and nurse during the night and watch her um, or go to work and show her off to the employees and not get anything done because I'm watching her. I send it to my parents that live in Delaware and I send it to Jesse's grandma and aunt that live in New Mexico. It's great that they can see that. I will tell you right now, hands down, this is the best place in the world that we ever could have been. From the minute we walked in the door to uh, this very second that I sit here in front of you, everybody has been nothing but kind and patient and loving with us. The care is hands and feet above anything we could have ever expected. I don't think if it wasn't for them, Amelia probably wouldn't be here. I might not be here. The compassion of these ladies and the, and the, the team of doctors and everybody that's around here is just second to none.